Rocket fundamentals. Let's look at the performance of single stage rockets, how to calculate propellant mass for a given desired velocity, and a specific impulse, inert mass, and payload mass. So here's a picture that was uh, <clears throat> adapted from a book called Understanding Space, Introduction to Astronautics by Sellers, 1994. And here we see a, uh, an astronaut sitting on a, a little wagon uh, throwing a rock. And uh, the idea here is that <clears throat> if this is a frictionless wagon he's sitting on, when he throws the rock off to the right, and he's using muscle power to do this, so he's working. Um, <clears throat> when the rock goes off to the right, the astronaut will go off to the left with an equal and opposite reaction. If we know how much momentum, some, that is mass times velocity, they gave the rock, then he's going to get the opposite of that. He's going to get negative that mass times velocity uh, as his momentum change. <clears throat> so. We have this equal and opposite reaction force to propel the astronaut. Now, one problem, of course, is if you try to do this, friction will obscure what's going on. So it might be better if this astronaut was sitting on, a, uh, say, a sled on ice that was frictionless, or better yet, if he was maybe in the space station throwing rocks, in which case we could observe his uh, reaction more easily. So that leads us to this basic concept of a momentum exchange in a rocket. So we'll assume that we have this rocket with a mass m, and it has some velocity. Could start out at zero, could be at any uh, initial velocity. And uh, <clears throat> then we eject uh, propellant mass, dm. I wrote it rather small here. Uh, so here's an uh, uh, infinitesimal bit of propellant. You can think of it as, as, as little, these little uh, points here coming out with some flow velocity. So now the, the momentum imparted to the rocket is equal and opposite to the propellant's momentum. The propellant's momentum is we threw this thing out of the nozzle at the exhaust velocity, VE. So that's how fast this is going. All right, <clears throat> And we threw how much mass? Some differential mass, little dm. And so how much does the astronaut pick up if, if he throws this off to the right, uh, the astronaut picks up an equal and opposite value to the left. So that's why we have a minus sign here. Minus dm times ve. And so the, uh, now the rocket, of course, has a lower mass because we threw away dm. So now we just have m minus dm. And then the new velocity that the rocket gets is dv. So that's what he picks up, he or she. And um, that, uh, that's added to whatever velocity the astronaut already had, or the rocket already had. Um, <clears throat> so the dV is an infinitesimal change. VE is the exhaust velocity. And by the way, let me remind you or mention that the, velo the exhaust velocity is in fact the ISP <coughs> times G, where this is the standard free fall number. Okay. So uh, if you multiply, if you take a typical value for ISP, let's say you have 300 seconds, uh, and g is, let's say, roughly it's 10 meters uh, per second squared, uh, then you would have about 3,000. So typical value, let's say 300 seconds times about 10 meters per second squared. It's really 9.8, right? And so you get 3,000, and one of the seconds cancels meters per second. See, so uh, this is how you turn ISP into a velocity, by multiplying by standard free fall. So. Now when we multiply out this equation, we get mdv minus dm dv, when I multiply by dv. And I'm going to assume that this differential, this very small mass times this very small change in velocity, two small numbers times each other, we're going to say that's negligible. Get rid of it. 
So if we do that, then we have MDV on the left. And if I divide the M over to the right, then I end up with this equation down here. This is all from the momentum exchange. Now, let, let me mention something that might seem a little non-intuitive. You know, in this rocket, when you throw this propellant out the back, if you add up the total momentum of the whole system, since there's no external force that we're assuming, the total momentum of the whole system is zero. It was zero when we started, and it's zero after. But what we care about is how fast the rocket's going. We don't care what's happening to the propellant.